We are entering the hot season. This means sidewalks and roadways start to become extremely hot. If the air is 80 degrees, sidewalks can be 110 degrees and the asphalt can be 130 degrees or more. Here is a report about the dangers to your pet in hot weather from KOB TV in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In your health news this morning, you may be taking your dog or cat out more often because of the nice weather. But get this, those hot temperatures don't just dehydrate your pets. Yeah, think about their little feet mm -hmm. on the hot cement, right? Casey Torres talked to a vet who says the summer months can really do serious damage on the pet's body. He's named Heimdall. He's a big old baby. He's real calm. He really likes people and he likes other dogs, so... And he loves going to the dog park. We try to do the dog parks in the mornings uh, around 9 o'clock, between 9 and 10, and uh, in the evenings. So I try to do it maybe three, four times a week. Dr. Veronica Bigaman, a veterinarian at Zia Pet Hospital, says those times of day are great to prevent serious injuries to their paw pads. I have seen dozens of cases where pets have burned their paw pads or they've sustained some form of injury from, from the hot weather. Concrete, asphalt, turf and other hard surfaces can turn into hot plates during the summer months. Our dogs can experience something as minor as a first degree burn where it's just the surface, but it can be as, as progressed as a fourth degree burn where there's actual tissue showing. Serious cases can call for stitching the paw pad back on. Another thing to keep in mind is that if your bare feet or hands can't stand any surface for more than three seconds, then it's too hot for your dog or cat. It doesn't just take torn pads or bleeding to warrant a visit to the vet. There are other signs of injury. You might notice they might be licking their feet more, they might be limping, they might be a little bit painful or reluctant to walk. Dr. Bigaman recommends booties, protective paw stickers, Doris QB4. Thank you, KOB TV, for this informative report. So, please remember that your pet is walking barefoot and its paws can be burned when outside during hot weather days. EPAP Animal Rescue is always looking for foster caregivers for pets that have been abandoned due to the death of its owner or the owner can no longer take care of the pet. If you are looking to give a pet a forever home, please contact Sandra Bergen at 951-797-0669. Your pet and COVID-19. Here is what we know so far from the CDC. The CDC is aware of a small number of pets worldwide, including cats and dogs, to be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, mostly after close contact with people with COVID-19. Based on the limited information available to date, the risk of animals spreading COVID-19 to people is considered to be low. It appears that the virus that causes COVID-19 can spread from people to animals in some situations. Treat pets as you would other human family members. Do not let pets interact with people or animals outside the household. If a person inside the household becomes sick, isolate that person from everyone else including pets. This is a rapidly evolving situation and information will be updated as it becomes available. This message is presented by EPAP Animal Rescue.